My Studio One course was a bit lonely in my website store, so I've just uploaded a new course for Battery 4 with over two hours of instruction. Now, Battery 4 is advertised as a drum sampler, but I think it's really much more than that. It has a ton of capabilities, and I've actually created entire songs using one instance of battery in my DAW. So it's truly a beast. So in this course, we cover every feature of battery. Topics include pitching audio samples with S1200 and MP60 flavor, the cell matrix and all of its options, working with effects, audio sample editing, adding loops, side chaining, audio routing, automation, mapping external controllers to the standalone version of battery, and much, much more. Now, a disclaimer, this is not a course on beat making and battery. This is a course designed to teach all of the features and parameters that are contained within battery and how to use them. There are so many different dolls out there and creating a beat in FL Studio with battery would look a lot differently than creating a beat in say Ableton with battery. So I just wanna be clear about this, but if you'd like to understand all of the functionality of battery itself, this course is designed for you. To provide an example of the instruction provided in this course, this video will end with a few minutes sample taken directly from the course. You can see the various sections contained within this course displayed here on the screen now. So thanks for watching and thanks for your support. And that's because this button here, the selection follows MIDI input is active. If I were to deactivate that and then trigger with my external controller, we can see that that is being triggered but the display is not updating. It's remaining on this currently selected cell and that's because this button is off. Turning that back on, now we will update our display to show the cell that is most recently triggered from our external controller. Now we've seen that we can click once to highlight a cell and then do some editing or processing to that individual cell, but we can also edit in groups by column or row. So for instance, all of these kicks on row A, if we'd like to adjust the level for all of these, we can come to the letter A, click, we can see that every cell in this row is now highlighted. So if I wanted to take the level down, I can come to the level control and just take note in the display that as I lower the level, we're gonna have some horizontal lines that pop up in all of the cells. And this is going to give us a visual indication of what this adjustment to the level, what cells this is affecting. So I'll go ahead and take this level down. You can see that top row, those horizontal lines are being decreased as I decrease the level. So just a handy visual feature to let you know what you're actually processing when you make adjustments. Now I'm gonna double click in the number field here and put in zero to take that back to the default. And let's deselect all of those. If we'd like to adjust one column at a time, we would just come up to the top here, click on the number field. Now let's actually load an empty kit. We could do so by coming up to the file menu and choosing new kit. We'll be asked if we're sure, and yes I am, I'll click okay. And I'd like to set the matrix to match my external controller. So I'll come to the four by four, and I'm going to load in a couple of my own samples. So I'll come to the files and navigate to my 